This video is brought to you by iSkySoft. Hey guys, in this video we'll take a look at color grading and color correction in Filmora 9. This is definitely a very handy feature which I think everyone should know about. If you take just a few moments to color grade your footage, it can highly increase the production quality of your videos and make them look much more professional. Just look at some of these examples. And in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to turn this shot into this, using color grading. So let's open up Filmora. Of course the first step is importing your video and dragging it to the timeline. Once you have this set up, just select the video you wanna make changes to. There are two ways to access the color grading tool. You can click this button right there, which says advanced color tuning, or you can just right click the video and select color correction. And it will open up this window for us where you can find a bunch of tools for color correction and color grading. So let's take a look at what each one of them is used for. On the top we can see histogram. Basically on the left side we have the dark tones or shadows, in the middle mid-tones and on the right side we have the highlights. So this tool can also help you with color grading and color correction. Then we have the white balance. Here you can control the temperature and tint. Since our shot is kinda bluish, we can increase the temperature a bit. Next, we have 3D LUT. We can already find a few LUTs there that basically try to replicate a specific look from popular movies and TV shows. Moreover, you can also import your own LUTs in the cube format. These can be easily downloaded from the internet and all you need to do is just import it into Filmora. Next there is color where we have the exposure and brightness, these are kinda similar. Then contrast, vibrance and saturation. Saturation simply increases the intensity of all colors at the same time, while vibrance only increases the intensity of muted or less saturated colors. The next one is light where you can control highlights, shadows, whites and blacks separately. The HSL panel allows you to control all of the different colors in the video specifically. This one's very useful. And finally we have the vignette which lets you darken or brighten the edges around your video. Now that we know all of the tools, let's use them to color grade this clip. First I'm gonna increase the temperature and reduce the tint just a bit. Now I will apply a lot. I think I'll go with the first one. In the color panel I'll increase the exposure and brightness and reduce the contrast. Then I'll add a bit of vibrance and decrease the saturation just a tiny bit. We can also play around with highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Now comes the fun part, HSL. This will probably have the biggest impact on the final result, so you should do this precisely. Finally, I'll add a subtle vignette. And I'll increase the temperature just a bit more. And that's pretty much it. Now we can take a look at the before and after. Up in the corner we have the show original button. And you can also use the side by side comparison. Once you have this clip color graded, you can also save it as a preset and apply these changes to multiple videos. And this is the result. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.